Hello everybody, welcome back to Dial. We're gonna take a look who we're gonna play today. Probably one of the other carnivores that we haven't yet played for a while. Let's see who's busiest currently. Germany is full, so we can't go there. There's France and the Netherlands, and then there's New York, which has a fairly high ping. Um, France and the Netherlands are both seven, so I think I'll just go for the Dutch server because I'm Dutch. Why not? No preference treatment here. Let's take a look at what we have. Alright, first of all, I'd like to see if there's anybody new. Uh, nope, these are still the same ones as last time, it looks like. Unless I'm missing something, of course. Who's this? No, that's Shantosaurus again. Little Diablosaurus, Triceratops, sorry. Diablosaurus, nice, beautiful things. On this side we have Hugh, which is kind of cool, I suppose. He looks a bit vulnerable. I think those are the types that were attacking me last time in the uh, T-Rex playthrough that I uh, didn't manage to save because my computer crashed. Either way, um, there's these guys, Allosaurus, we haven't played them yet. We have played the Austroraptor a while ago. And there's Carnotaurus still. Why not try one of these guys? We're just gonna go down the line. Let's see, this one has a grey thing with red spots on his head. Kind of cool, I guess. Green. Brown. Oh, nice and stealthy, this one. I think I might pick that one. Slightly blue undercarriage, but that's okay. This okay. This one's very easy to spot, as we saw last time when we played T-Rex, because with this one's running around somewhere, the bush is behind us. And there's a blue one, and a light green and white. There's so much colors for these. Look at that. Was it this one? It was certainly much brighter than the one we saw last time. Right, also funny about these creatures that they have barely any arms, so it's kind of like a, they are about to evolve out of them. And now they still have the last remaining bits. Was this one I was looking at earlier? Yeah, I think it was. I think it's number three. Yeah, I want this one. Okay, let's see. Is that me? I think it is. Well, let's go and, uh, oops, sneak away a bit. Because I don't want to alert everybody to my presence immediately. Or just over the grass. Doesn't look like there's anybody here. Well, let's go take a look. If there's anything here. Do I have two attacks, by the way? I do. Good. Just clicking a right click button to make sure I have a left and a right mouse mountain attack. Which is useful. I don't hear or see anything. We are once again in that spot. I think we were here last time as well. Anybody? Look at us sneaking. Hello. We were hardly visible here. Very nice. Alright, let's go and uh, sneak this way as I plow through trees. Uh, nobody actually died in front of us this time when starting up, and that's a bit unfortunate, so we have to go out and find food instead. Last time things were better. Uh, there's nothing over there either. There was a sound in the distance, but I think that was just the game. Occasionally it throws a sound or two your way. Anybody here? Anybody at all? I don't want to walk too much because that'll make too much noise. And I particularly don't like making a lot of noise in places where I can't see two feet in front of me. Probably not a good strategy. And that's another tree in the distance, it looks like. Don't even know where everything is. There's only seven people on the server, though. I wonder how many of those are T-Rexes and starving because there's nobody else to eat. Except for other T-Rexes, of course, which are a little bit difficult to bring down compared to... Was that? That was me, I think. It was a bit of a high pitched sound. Or maybe I'm imagining things. I'm imagining dinner coming towards me. That is a bush in the distance, isn't it? Yes, it is. Alright, fine. Spiky bushes. They are not for me. Right. As I was saying, it's a little bit easier to bring down a herbivore of some type, even though some of them are pretty tough. Like uh, Triceratops is pretty difficult, and of course Protosaurus is just plain big. It doesn't have to be strong, it just needs to be really difficult to kill. There we go. And everything else is reasonably okay, but they're kind of fast. Gallimimus is kind of fast, but though it has absolutely no attacks and no defenses, at least not that I've seen. So they are kind of boned if they are cornered. Boned when cornered. I'm not worried about any of them, I'm just worried about my fellow predators who might be hanging around as well. Because I'm smaller than the T-Rex. I do look pretty cool though. Oh, there's a bit of a, a sun glare. Let's just get out and light a little bit. There we go. I want to take a look at myself. 
There we go. Look at us. We're in the shade a lot. Can't zoom in or out, which is a problem. I'm very stealthily colored. That's why it's difficult to see my face. Love those little horns on my forehead. Don't think I'll ever ram somebody with them, but uh, they look kind of cool. That's all we need. We need a dinosaur swag. That's another branch over there. Dead branches everywhere. Where's the water? Who's here, by the way? We have... Oh, the icons are here now. That looks fantastic. Uh, something that I can't read. Somebody just left. So now there's only five other people. They decided to leave as soon as they saw my icon in the list, of course. Naturally. Oh no, that crazy colorful bird fish thing is here again. Run away! Let's go home. I got homework to do. I guess we just reasonably chill around here because there's nobody. Nobody. Da -da -da -da. Does that mean we can do a little trouting? There is a lot of... I would call it lens flare, but it's kind of like uh, what you would normally see if you're adjusting to bright lights. A bit difficult to see. Or does the game just adjust to your uh, creature's eyesight level? Who knows? That would be interesting. If you also had the eyesight, if you could go in first person mode, first dinosaur mode, and then stare directly ahead because predators always look straight ahead. That was not me, was it? wasn't me, was it? It sounded like it was somebody off the distance. Hang on. Let me just do a little bit of a sneaky sneaky. Uh, that's a computer sound. Sneaky sneaky, nobody? No. Nobody here to play with the Wickle Carnal Taurus or Allosaurus? Sorry, I keep for confusing those two. Look at our tiny little paws over there. They're barely functional. Actually, they're not functional at all. Like we just came out of the water and stopped swimming and then just stopped developing that part. Screw that fin. Let's just do the ones in the back. It'll be okay. It'll all be okay. Well, Rabbit, let's grow some horns in our head because it makes us look cool. Alright, there's nobody here, I suppose. Unless they're sneaking too, of course. Won't know that until they jump out of bushes to scare us. Uh, no? Someone off in the distance? Should I head towards the sound? Maybe I should. Uh, maybe we should call some people to see if they'll uh, come near. Anybody here? There's light. Was that a peacock in the distance? What is a peacock doing? <laughs> oh, no, that's the computer sound again. Nope, that's not it. Hey, this looks a bit like the hillside we were on last time. That might mean there's water in that direction. I'm just gonna head this way. I don't think there's anybody near, so I'm just gonna walk a bit. That takes a little bit less time. What was that? Maybe there's just more system sounds than there used to be. We're gonna do something really dangerous. We're gonna leave the cover entirely and just walk out here. Of course, on the one hand, it's dangerous because you have no cover, but on the other hand, the other creatures that might want to eat you don't have any cover either, so it's a trade-off. I'd like to get up this hill. Uh, 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 uh. Look at us running. We're pretty supple. We're the athletes of the dinosaur world. Not quite as heavy as a T-Rex, but certainly a lot more agile. Let's run to the edge over here. Where's trotting better? Let's do a bit of... Is that water over there? It looks a bit like water. I'm looking to the right, but that might just be fog. Hello? Let's try the... Uh, is this the call one? Definitely. Number one for calling people. Still trotting? I thought I was walking. Let's listen and see if we get anybody back. Anybody nearby? Is anyone there? I hear no one and I see no one. Wait, that way. Or something behind us. Let's try this again. So 
searching. Anyone? No, that's me. No. Must have landed it. All right. Um. Let's just keep this uh, non-cover for a while. They can't shoot us, so we'll just be out here in open. Is that me? No. I don't even know what that was. Never mind, we're gonna go this way. And uh, walk around the edge of this forest and have, uh, hopefully we'll find some water in the distance because I believe the water we got last time were, it was next to a mountain. And that is good. Nobody here. And nobody there. Lovely view here, though. This is a nice trade. I think I'm constantly in the shade of the uh, cloud or something, the way I'm constantly in the dark. I'm going white and open. Out in the open. Like a true boss, I guess. I see nothing over there. You see nothing. Anything? Because I tend to miss like half of what's going on when I'm actually playing the game rather than looking at last uh, or later when I'm editing things. So who knows what's going on that I'm not seeing right now? There might be hundreds of things. King of the Hill. Let's go to the top there. Shot a little bit. Oh, wrong thing. I'm gonna go all the way up here if I can. Survey my land. Lovely. Uh, there's the mountain range. I think we were there last time. Although I tend to run around the forest and always think I've been here before, but that's usually not the case. Kind of like a dog that wanders into a kitchen and wonders what he was there for in the first place. And me, it's quite the opposite. That does look like those um, pointed rocks we saw a few playthroughs back when I was playing Gallimimus, I think I was. Maybe we should head that way. We can go across this mountain range to get there, so we'll just do that. So I'm wondering, because I haven't seen a base in a long time, when they're going to actually implement people and if when that happens you can actually play as people. So I'm not quite sure what the story behind the game is, or if there is a story behind the game just yet. Because it seems to me a little bit like, um, oh there's water right here. Oh yeah, good. We're going to go there. Good. It seems a bit like, um, kind of like Jurassic Park, only even different. So once again. I'm just gonna sneak this bit because the water's right there and there are probably be other people who also are thirsty. Either way, uh, kind of like Jurassic Park where they've uh, have a, got an island with a full of dinosaurs and we've got a few camps. Though they look like military bases and not like bases for scientists and that sort of thing, so who knows. Maybe military uh, people have been sent back into the past, um, rather than forward into the past. And now they are trying to uh, survive. Kind of like Ark Survival, but then we're on the other side of the boat, or the other side of the coin. We are the ones that have to survive, that, which is pretty cool. But I haven't seen a camp in a while, so I'm not sure if there are still camps. First of all, I haven't seen a map with a camp in a long time. And if there are camps, if there are actually people in there. There was a truck in one of them I saw, but there was nobody there. And I parked my Portosaurus in there, and I looked around, and I was quite sad that there weren't any people to wash me, like a car wash for dinosaurs. Well, would have been cool, I suppose. But it was not to be. I wonder though if those will be NPCs, that'd be kind of cool. I mean, if you look at the uh, starter screen, there's a T-Rex with a piece of a jeep in his uh, face and a couple of guys behind a log. Oh, look at this water looking all pretty. Never seen this before. It's so pretty. Let's go downhill without slipping and falling and that sort of thing. I wonder if you can drown here. Uh, one thing you didn't see I talked uh, last time about how I had this fight with a bow with a T-Rex and a whole bunch of other people were there to try and kill me and I ended up winning anyway. There were three of them, but they were smaller and faster, but they were not uh, strong enough. Either way, um, there were a few dead dinosaurs there. Oops, swimming. When I swim, the water disappears. Alright, cool. Let's have some drink. Let's have a drinky. Drinky poos. Good for you. I'm also kind of hungry. Anybody around? No? 
Either way, uh, there were a few dead dinosaurs in the water and they were floating with their head above the surface. It was right there, actually. That was where the fight took place. We'll walk here in a moment when I'm done drinking. And... You do make a lot of noise when drinking. Like gargling when they're drinking somehow. Come on, some work. I mean, when you're making noise, air comes out. And I imagine that would be difficult while you're trying to drink. Like, swallow things and then at the same time make a lot of noise. That's a bit strange. Right, never mind. We are full up for the liquids. And we're gonna go and take a look at the island. Can we get there? Without dying. Can I swim? Am I swimming? Uh, I'm walking. This is weird. I can't really look and see if I'm swimming. I appear to be walking even though I'm not walking, so that's a bit strange. Stuff behind me, you know? Water ballet, everybody. Dino ballet. Actually, aqua jogging. Too bad you can't see yourself swimming. I guess they don't have a swim animation, and so they make sure that you can't see what's going on with your dinosaur. Just so you won't complain too much about how it looks. Alright, let's see now. This is a lovely place here. Sit up past. Oh, look, wait, 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 hang on. Yeah, yeah, so this is kind of more like um, proof that it is a sort of a Jurassic Park thing. Because these are definitely human structures. Like almost. almost Roman. But this thing it looks like it has faces on it, this pillow right down there. So I would say, I would say Aztec for that. We might be in South America. In America. This looks like an aqueduct or something. Although there's no roof at the top where the water would flow, so it's not quite an aqueduct. Arr, turn. Turn around, bright eyes. Right, let's sneak this bit because there might be dinosaurs. Anybody here? Anybody at all? I sure do like the scenery, but it's kind of annoying that there's absolutely nobody to look at. Not even a teensy weensy dinosaur anywhere. It's too bad you can't see what type of dinosaur they're playing on the uh oh the water stopped moving, apparently. Oh no, wait, that's just my uh, game. Or at least the computer pulling me out of the game for a second without losing the screen. Okay, fine. Um what was I saying again? A portosaurus would have been fun to look at, I suppose, from a distance. Walk underneath its legs, hope it doesn't try to kick you. Be kinda cool. But so far, there is nothing. I was over there last time. And the fight took place over here, and there was a whole bunch of dead dinosaurs, like a uh, Protosaurus had been taken down here. At least three or four T-Rexes and a whole bunch of smaller uh, carnivores of some type. I think the one that's currently at the bottom of the list, which name I've already forgotten. And there was a whole pack of them, and there were a whole bunch of dead ones floating around with their heads above the water for some reason. No idea. They were, like, pretty much vertical, but their head was sticking out of the water, so they were just hanging there in the water, which is really strange. So far we see no one. Come on guys, there's gotta be somebody. Anybody home? No. Nope. I'll just go to show you need to pick a server, at least if like 10 or 12 people on it. Seven is just too few, and a few of them have left in- oh, there's more now. Oh, look at that. How many do we have now? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 12, 13, including myself, and I can't see what they're playing, which is what I wanted to do. Let's see, latency. I have four latency, whatever that means. Death skills. Okay, so you need to watch out for Alan Goan, because he's killed two people already, and only one person has died. Well, that's logical. I suppose the person who died just logged off and never returned. He was never heard of again. Alright, so, while we're here all alone, I'll just try the other roar button and see what that even sounds like. There's nobody here to buy this currently. Anyway, here's number two. What does that mean? Oh, right, number three. Angry. Number four. Don't know what that means. I guess it's like a submissive thing. And it's general roaring under the F button. Alright, fine. 
I think we're done here for today. It's a lovely place to stop, that's for sure. A lovely scenic, unfortunately very empty, and I'm currently very hungry. That's the system town again. Do I hear somebody? No? Okay. Well, fine. So I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Next time we'll be playing one of the other herbivores once we're done with that list. I think there's two more that I haven't played yet. We're just gonna go and do some Portosaurus stuff, or maybe Triceratops, or whatever I feel like playing. And maybe have an adventure and a very busy server a little bit fun. Right, so thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, see you next time, bye bye for now.